Hello, everyone. Glad to have you here today. Today, I have a very special interview with Vetan, a very experienced dropshipper, and he's also leading his own dropshipping communities in Bulgaria. We're going to go over all of the details. So as you know, I'm Liran, the content manager from AutoDS. Let's go ahead and begin this interview. Vetan, how are you? I'm great. Thank you. What about you? I'm also great. Thank you very much. Let's start off. Go ahead and tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay, I'm starting uh, with my dropshipping business seven years ago. Uh, seven years ago, uh, I was working as a software engineer. This is my education. And uh, I start to uh, sell some items in eBay. One of my best friends say, can you help me to sell these items? I have supplier in USA. We was having, uh, actually he has um, in that part, uh, in that time, having a friend in China that sent items to USA and we start selling. A uh, few months ago, we was uh, finding uh, DS Domination. Do you remember this software? Do you know it? DS Domination? No, haven't heard of it, them. It was one American course, how to dropship from Amazon, from Walmart to uh, eBay, but it was so hard. It was not having any software platforms. And uh, my friend uh, say, okay, let's buy the course and try it. We try to sell from Amazon and Walmart. Everything starts going very well. Then a few months later, he told me, okay, let's let's create one uh, electronic table uh, that show the out-of-stock products. And we were starting to create our uh, first uh, platform in the past. And I, I am the creator of the SM Pro. Uh, this is something that I created uh, five years ago. A lot of people locally in Bulgaria, we have a very huge community in Bulgaria with dropshippers. Over 10,000 people follow me. Uh, only in YouTube. Then uh, we create the SM Pro and a uh, few years later, we start working to other tools. And uh, because the market changed very often uh, and we also change our business very often, then uh, we stop supporting this platform. It's still working for with some functions, but it's not repricer anymore. Then uh, I, I start with the dropshipping, uh, sell the items from China. After that, we start selling from Amazon. And uh, in that, we start with um, building the software for dropshippers, that with, uh, from dropshippers to dropshippers. Uh, and uh, this is my uh, beginning of the dropshipping. It was seven years ago. Okay. Okay. So that answered my next question, which was how you started uh, dropshipping. So you were actually, you just started your career as a software engineer. And so yep. you had some friend actually come up to you and tell you, hey, come help me sell some items on eBay. And then uh, you researched it, found an yeah. online course that probably doesn't exist anymore. And then you started actually getting your hands dirty with drop shipping. You started it uh, also for yourself. And you also tried uh, and you also had uh, some software that's uh, that's being uh, uh, like you said, uh, SM Pro that's uh, being discontinued yeah. in the lister, but maybe doing other things. Yeah, the What's idea it? was pretty similar to be like AutoDS. Just uh, uh, with the years, we we take a lot of uh, new projects and we grow in the dropshipping in Amazon FBA and we take decision to stop it because uh, the competition is very high here. You know that uh, a lot of yes. softwares, a lot of plot platforms uh, on the market and we just take that decision. It was very hard. This is something like to kill your baby, to stop your software that you work for this uh, years. Right. But uh, we find uh, actually we will learn, learn a lot uh, from that. Okay. So, so you started, uh, you said it was seven years ago, actually yeah. drop shipping when it was actually, even today, it's a good time to start because, you know, it's obviously still working. Many people are still profiting, but starting seven years ago was actually a very, very good time to start. Uh, there wasn't a lot of competition, but on the other hand, you didn't have the automation. You couldn't scale like you can scale your scores yeah, I, I, today. So I, it's I, different. It's different. I remember that uh, when I start with the dropshipping, the first year when I started with sale from Amazon and from Walmart to eBay, this is the mm -hmm. second model that we start using after the, the course. Uh, 
um, I remember that every morning I wake up and start uh, watching the Excel file, Excel table, and start checking my products on hand one by one. And yeah. this was the beginning of the beginning. Yeah. Actually, it was pretty, pretty hard to start from my location that times uh, because no information how to create LLC in USA, uh, how to find very good suppliers, uh, a lot of um, a lot of things that you need to do, but no information at all. Now it's it's full with information. Only with your channel, I, I watch a lot, a big part of the movies in your channel, mm-hmm. um, and only with your channel, some dropshippers can start and learn. And uh, also, Lyra tell me that you have a mentorship program. Right. Then only only with a few bucks and uh, you can take uh, all knowledge on the world and to start in this business. It's yeah, very, yes. very easy yes. to, to start. Definitely. So like you said correctly back then, not only were there not any programs to help you, any software to help you with price monitoring, stock monitoring, you, you used to use a Excel file to check the prices, to check the stock. And, uh, and, and there was also no knowledge. So you want to look up new suppliers. Like you said, you want to open an LLC in the United States, no information at all, how to do these things and how to go about it. So you learn the hard way, yeah, but, you just... learned, but, but you also learned at a good time. So, uh, okay. So that's very interesting. So you came across AutoDS, uh, how long ago? Because I know that you're also, you are also a drop shipper, but you also have a community of uh, drop shippers, uh, in, uh, in Bulgaria. So I know that recently maybe you started the uh, AutoDS, but how long ago was it? Actually, to be honest, uh, once after, uh, we stopped the support of the, our two, mm-hmm. uh, I drank a lot of the tools of the market, um, uh, like a school grid, uh, a lot of tools. I, I will not say any anymore. I don't want to do any advertising here. <laughs> and I, I tried them, but um, after um, some of our friends in Bulgaria also have the platform uh, for uh, a lister with uh, with lister enterpriser, and they they are not having any new futures last year. And uh, in the beginning of this year, I start and ask my students here. I have uh, 13,000 registered people from Bulgaria in free course for uh, online online uh, business, how to start in dropshipping, how to start with your own web store. Uh, okay. And I ask my community, how uh, is there have any, any good tool that they are, they are okay with? And uh, most of the people that sell a lot uh, tell me tell me about your your platform, and they tell me, okay, test it. Um, to be honest, I I didn't test it before. I know about AutoJS maybe from three or four years, but uh, I start using uh, the platform four months ago. Mm-hmm. The first thing that I like here is that you can do the orders for me because the main problem of my community is that they didn't have a LLC in USA right? and they didn't have an option to buy from Walmart, from Home Depot, from websites that you support. And right, you because have they, a- cancel, they cancel their orders after they do them, if, if, even if they can. It happens for us too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, they try with uh, Wix, with, uh, uh, I'm sorry, with, with TransferWise. It's Wise yeah. right now with Pioneer, with uh, a, a lot of Revolut and another companies but uh, most most uh, of my students have still have problem to buy with the bulgarian or european uh, card and uh, this is the best solution that we find uh, your platform that have ability to buy the items for the dropshippers this is this yes. is a uh, way some options we to be honest i i was uh, using other services before uh, test out this but AutoDS uh, is the best service that I find uh, okay. for, well, for the dropshippers. This is the well, reason uh, that I, ask, I, I I start to record some videos and to show to my community how they can join and can use your software. Okay. Well, I'm glad you heard. First of all, thank you. Uh, and I can also relate to that. Like I said, for international sellers buying from Walmart and Home Depot and places like that, if you don't live in the United States, like, like me, like you, like thousands of other dropshippers, either you won't be able to... F- do uh, t- uh, put your order at the supplier's website or you can put the order, but after that they will cancel it or so many other problems. 
So one of the things is really the order automation, like you like you mentioned, not to talk about uh, uh, Amazon locking so many accounts two years ago. That's when I found out about order automation. And I am also a customer of AutoDS before I started working in this company. And that is just, uh, I was just started as a regular customer. Even today, I'm a regular customer in AutoDS. I have my drop shipping stores there. Uh, and, and order automation, once that came in, it really changed a lot of things for me too. So I'm glad that, you know, what the things that I'm going through, I see that people around the world are also, you know, going through it and we find the solutions and it's great. Okay. So when you are going onto product uh, research for your stores, how do you conduct product research? How do you know what products you need to sell or your students? How do they look for their products? How do they find them? Before start uh, using your tool, um, in the beginning of the beginning, if I can say that, uh, we use them manual. Go to eBay, start seeing uh, what seller uh, or go to the category and start checking the products with uh, right click of the mouse, uh, search by image Google, or with the yeah. title, go to and the Amazon. Try to find the source. Yeah. Yeah. This is the beginning of the beginning. Yes. Uh, last few years, uh, another guy from Israel, Nahar, he's my friend, uh, support maybe one of the best uh, tools, uh, Zik Analytic. Yes. And I, I helped my community with that uh, because the Zika Analytic do a very good job. Actually, they, they have new features every year, new version, um, a, a lot of uh, new stuff that you can test. They are, they are not very expensive. And most of my students, especially the new one that don't, don't have a lot of experience, uh, use the Zika Analytic. Also, my team use the Zika Analytic. Uh, mainly here is that uh, because my my main mission in 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 internet is to help to others also. Um, I am I'm owner of the stores on WooCommerce, uh, FBA. We have a manufacturer, and uh, maybe sixty percent from the items that I sell are are in my own stock or are manufactured for me with my brand, then uh, only 40% or less than 40% are drop shipping right now, to be honest. And we search them with Zik Analytic mainly. This okay. is the platform that helped me a lot to okay. search them with Zik. Yeah. Okay. So you are selling on WooCommerce. You're selling on Amazon FBA. 40% of the products are drop shipping products. 60% yeah. of the products you're actually uh, manufacturing, branding, and holding in stock. And... Yeah. Uh, let's let's talk about the structure. So do you think that it is right or is this what you are doing? First, you are testing dropshipping products. You're seeing what sells. And once you start to find products that are selling well, then you are contacting your manufacturer and trying to create that product. Like yeah. you're, you are starting from dropshipping products and then learning what you should bring to stock. Yeah. And also I, I want to say something very important here then uh, as I told in the beginning, the market changed very often. Um, yes. If you ask me, is the drop shipping in Amazon working good one year ago? Maybe my answer was uh, in that in that part one year ago was uh, to say no, no, totally no. They stop all the drop shippers. If you ask me same question two years ago, I will say yeah, it definitely worked very well because we was drop shipping from Amazon to Amazon and we do a lot of profit two years ago. But if you ask me today, is it work? Yeah, it's work again. It start working. Uh, we we find some uh, tracking uh, softwares. Your software also have tracking uh, option. Right. And yeah, it start working great. And um, I start uh, with the Amazon FBA, but with my my own white label. Mm -hmm. A few years ago, it was uh, it was uh, working with great great profit. Mm -hmm. Now, um, mainly I resell the items that are cheap in UK. They are small and light. Did you hear about small and light? Small and light? Maybe nope. you didn't know. In uh, Amazon Co. UK, you have ability to sell the items that are pretty small, that are less than nine pounds. You okay. can sell them 
and you have very, very cheap delivery from Amazon and you have very great, very good profit. And my main profit now from Amazon in UK is uh, from uh, FBA with small and light items that I resell. I just find the wholesaler and buy the items and uh, move them in the stock, in Amazon stock. And this is the something that I find and it's working very well. Then uh, I, I manage the stores. I manage the dropshipping in eBay, uh, dropshipping in Amazon. And the main reason here is that I want to help to the people. And if you want to help to the people, you need to sell different ways and to just to check, is it work, how it's work, how it's changed. Uh, I can tell you something that I, I, I'm sure that one year after it will work very great, very good. AliExpress uh, start delivery uh, items in Europe with free shipping that are three mm -hmm. times cheaper. Uh, for uh, three, four, five days because Jack Ma created stores in whole Europe. Then Perhaps after a year, Amazon mm -hmm. Amazon will not be the main supplier here in in uh, in the dropshipping in Europe. Uh, people that sell in Amazon UK or Germany, they will use AliExpress because AliExpress will be three times cheaper mm -hmm. with five days delivery mm -hmm. and it, it will not have any problem and quality is same as the Amazon one. Then after a year, if we speak again, uh, and you ask me which is the main source of income that you have, which is the best uh, model that you follow, mm -hmm. maybe the model will be totally different because model right. change all the time. Right. Very good points. Very good points and very good tips. The market is changing all the time. What's happening today is not what's happening last year. What's happening last year is not what happened two years ago. That is very, very true. And I think uh, I would like to say that it's very nice to... I, I like seeing mentors, tutors, pe people who are teaching other people, but from experience, that is also, of course, what we are doing. But I'd like to see that happening too, because you know how we said that a few years ago, there was not a lot of information out there. And today there's way too much information. If you look, if you search for drop shipping right now on YouTube, you're going to get so many videos from so many experts and professionals. And I can tell you that most of them are not really doing it or they did it in the past and now they're just teaching, but you are doing everything from experience. You're testing different market, different markets, different regions, different products, and you're giving this information to your, to your community. I think that that's a great thing. And you are actually a, a role model for dropshippers. And that is very, very nice to see. Thank you. Uh, and also the tip that you gave about uh, Amazon UK, which is something that I never knew. So you learn something every day with light products up to nine pounds, very, very fast shipping in the UK. Also very, very interesting. Everybody can find this when writing the Google small and light Amazon Co. UK. He will find the program, what the specification, because the item need to be light, not big and less than nine pounds. They have exact specification in mm -hmm. the Amazon. You can read it and just find the products that are... Um, I will right. I will share one more secret here. Then mm -hmm. uh, we search the items that are uh, below fifty thousand rank. Also, fifty thousand what? Uh, Amazon rank. Amazon rank. Yeah, below fifty thousand. Below fifty thousand, and to they they may maybe they will have uh, uh, ten or fifteen people that sell same item, but Amazon um, per periodically just change the the drop box. Uh, buy box. I'm sorry, the buy box. The buy box. And yeah. and uh, just just uh, uh, if you have 50 items in stock uh, and they are small and light, you have big chance to have a lot of sales every day. Just you you win the buy box of some of the items, you lose it from some of the items. But every yes. day it's rotating and. You, you you have a really good chance to to sell a lot. Yeah, you'll definitely get some of those sales. Okay, okay. Okay, very nice. Let's move on to our next question. So we talked about product research, uh, drop shipping. When you are using, when you are looking for suppliers, or when you are testing your suppliers, what suppliers do you use mostly? We talked a little bit about Amazon and Walmart, ma mainly in the beginning. Are there other suppliers that you are using today? I'm talking for drop shipping because, of course, when you are using the manufacturer, then that's your only one supplier. But for drop shipping suppliers, are there any other suppliers that you are working with? you or your students yeah when when i start uh, in the drop shipping this was only amazon and walmart right but now we use a lot of sites that are not listed anywhere 
with the time we find uh, different places, contact them, ask them, is it possible to buy from them? Are they working with the dropshippers? Actually, um, when somebody starts in the business, it's it's very good to use AliExpress, Amazon, some right. proven supplier that have uh, three time three days delivery option. Right. Uh, yeah, the, the price is a little bit high and the competition there is much higher. Right. But uh, you have great service. Yeah. In Amazon Prime, you, you have two, two days delivery. Mm -hmm. Then I suggest everybody when start in the dropshipping to use the main suppliers just for experience and just for the uh, to to have ability to rise in eBay because uh, it's very important in in the beginning to not have any negative feedbacks any cases in your account but uh, right now I I use around 20 suppliers from USA some of them didn't uh, are, are are not listed anywhere uh, in UK I have uh, few one, maybe three or four websites that nobody, nobody in the internet say I list them, I, I use them, I, I drop ship from them. And uh, they have some items that uh, are sell very well, but you can find them in Amazon, in Walmart. They are spe special items that I, I know that it's working, that, that they're working very well, to be honest. Then I use a lot of suppliers. You support maybe more than 25 suppliers. Right. If I remember yes. this right, yes. yeah, and I what suggest everybody when have some experience to start to test to find some products, and um, as you you tell this uh, early, it's full well, with the information in internet. Yes, but the the main thing here is everybody need to find his own way. Then right. take something, test it. It's working or it's not working. Exactly. It, even even if I if I ask a hundred people from my community which is the best dropshipping tool, maybe I will receive thirty percent uh, one tool, thirty percent another one, thirty percent the third one. Some of them will say non API. Some of them will say API software. Some of them right. will say I use only the tables, no software. Software yes. do the market very bad. Mm -hmm. Then um, everybody need to find his own supplier and to test yes. it. Everybody needs to find their own way at the end of the day. Like you said, uh, there is many suppliers out there. And like you said, also, when you for dropshippers who are just starting out, use something that's easily accessible to you. Like, like we just mentioned, Amazon is a great place to start. AliExpress is a great place to start. And it's better to go US to US, for example, and not China to USA. Don't start with long shipping times. You want to get, like you said, strong feedback at the beginning. Uh, and so when you are looking for your suppliers in the beginning, use something that's handed to you. Like, for example, if you got 25 suppliers here with price and stock monitoring, most of them with auto ordering, start with something that you already have. Once you start getting sales and you want to take it to the next level, not after five sales more, when you have good sales in your store, you know what products are selling, then you can start doing the next things that you were talking about, which is try reaching out to new suppliers suppliers that nobody knows about that nobody is talking to them and try to work with them find suppliers who are selling products that are that are selling well for you and look for private suppliers but once again that is the next step if you start drop shipping and you start looking for suppliers you, you you're sending emails waiting for answers it's very very difficult to start this way so like you said start with something that's that's out there for you like amazon prime two day shipping easy returns easy to manage your business this way. So it's yeah. a little bit harder to sell. You have to work hard on product research on finding the right products, but you will sell if you if you put in the right work, if you put in the right time and you do the right methods for product research. So like you said, also, there's so much information out there today, YouTube videos, mentors from here uh, until there. But if you're taking the relevant information, take a little bit from here, take a little bit from here, take a little bit from here. Like you said, test this, test this, test this. The more testing that you do, you'll start to see the results. Nobody can work on this so hard and not see results. Only lazy people who are, you know, trying for one week and they see that it's not working and then they say, okay, it's not working. And actually, I have one big tip here. Mm -hmm. um, it's like uh, when you have a pain in your head, if you go mm -hmm. to one doctor, he will say, take these pills. But if you visit 10 doctors, you will receive 10 different receipts right. for 10 different pills good point. and they some of them will say this is from stress this is because you don't sleep enough another right. one will say 
you have migrena, uh, you know right. how it's yeah. working actually. Yeah. Yeah. Then um, the most important here is to uh, give give the time to the thing that you test. Don't listen to everybody in the internet. Just find one person that you like. It's main reason when somebody asks me why to pick you as a mentor, why to pick you, not the other one, or why to buy mm-hmm. your course, not the Udemy course. And mm-hmm. I always say, if you don't like me, if you don't like what I'm saying, or if you don't understand what I'm saying, or if you feel uncomfortable to listen to my voice, don't pick me, please. Because you need to listen to me 10 hours, 12 hours, uh, and we'll interrupt you. Then mm-hmm. the first and main reason is to, to when you when you follow somebody to like him, to say, okay, this is this is somebody that will help me. And the the second main thing is to follow him enough time to take the advices and to test them. Because right. everybody wants perfect body and take the steroids, but who that not take the steroids after five years still have the perfect body. The other yes. one, maybe uh, after one or two years, he will fucked up the body and yes. will stop having good results. Right, right. This is very yeah. important. Right, right. Nice steps. I really like that. I really like that. Uh, okay. What is your main... I, I, I think you mentioned this a few minutes ago, but okay. what is your main mission here? How do you see the future? What are your real future goals? Where, where are you going from here? Okay, it's... Um... My my main mission, or yes, okay. Then um, I'm from very small country. Uh, where you live now in Tel Aviv? Close, yeah. Uh, uh, it's close to Tel Aviv. How much how how much people have in this city? Where in Tel Aviv? Yeah, around uh, a lot. I don't want to give the wrong answer and embarrass myself. A lot. It's the most okay. popular Israel, city. How, how big is Israel actually? Uh, I think we got about nine million. Uh, civilians today in Israel. No, nine million. Okay, then uh, Bulgaria. Bulgaria is uh, a smaller country with six million people, and um, if you go in USA, you have two hundred million, two hundred eighty. If you yeah, a little bit count more, the yeah. Mexico and Canada, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Then uh, I'm from small country, and uh, if if I lie to people. If I do something wrong, if I if my mission is to help them, but actually to to steal them, to to take the money from them, to lie them, to say I sell, but really to sell only the course mm-hmm. or something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, I can everybody lie. will know that it's you. Yeah, everybody. after a year, everybody will know me as a person that is cheater. Yeah. And my main mission in in my in my life at all, not only in the dropshipping, in in every business that I do, uh, is to do the things that I can do every day of my life without feel boring, without feel tired, then the life is not a sprint. It's a marathon. It's something that you can do all your life, not only two or three months. And um, my main mission is to help to people to do the stable business, only stable business. I know that the dropshipping is not the, the stable business model. You know, all the time, some Amazon account will be stopped. Uh, some eBay account will be stopped. You need to reboot again to create a new account, new store. After that, they stop you again. Dropshipping in Amazon is same. FBA is same. Market change all the time. And you need to adapt, to adapt, to adapt again, uh, again and again, every next day. And my mission is to help to people to have ability to adapt easier. Just okay. to go and to say, okay, this is the exercise that you need to do. This is the way that works now. And um, I, I love to be in my community because I learn all the time from my friends. They are my friends, my mm-hmm. community. Uh, we do meetings, we do seminars, we do a lot of uh, events here in Bulgaria. And uh, when I give some information to you today, now I share my experience. After a week, you will come and we'll say, okay, Vitan. Show me how you do this. Can I also find some items to sell them in FBA? And I will show you. But after one year, you will come and you will say, okay, do you know, I, I find one way that can sell much more in Amazon. And I want to share with, with you. And my main mission is to give to, to the others without expecting anybody, a, anything from anybody. And uh, everything come back one day. Just when you help, you are happy. 
I, I, I completely agree with what you're saying there. Uh, and also on the fact that your main mission is really to help others, but you're not just helping on a general level. You're really getting down into like, into like a low resolution and helping people not just create your dropshipping store and just base the guidelines, but also how to adapt to changes. Like you said, there are many changes that happen in dropshipping. And in my five years of dropshipping, I've had quite a few changes almost every year where I thought at least two times that maybe it's not going to work. Maybe it's not, yeah. but I, 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 I worked. End. Yes. And then you work really hard to overcome that. And then everything is stable again. Everything is good. Again, you found the solutions. Now everything is good. So you're also helping your students adapt to the markets, adapt to the things that are going on. It's not just general things. And then after a couple of months, it's like, okay, you know, everything, goodbye, good luck. So, uh, so, okay. So that answers the question of what actually your main mission is. Uh, and that's, yeah. did you know when I, when I'm starting with the drop shipping, um, because my friends say, okay, let's do this. Let's, let's start selling. And when I find the course, uh, how to sell from Amazon to eBay in first moment, I was thinking like may, maybe every other person in the world, why somebody will buy this glass from me for $10 if he can buy it from Amazon for uh, five dollars, and I go and can ask my friends that ne that they never see the drop shipping, they just hear about this or they hear from me, and a hundred percent from my friends say, "Man, nobody will buy some something from you more expensive." Yeah, if he can buy it more cheap, uh, it's it's uh, no other opinion here. And yeah. I asking my friends, and if I listen my friends in this part of my life, I will never start with the dropshipping. That's right. Uh, when you ask for advice from somebody, just see him and and think, do you want to be like him or is he has some results in the same thing? Then if I want to invest in the uh, real estate and I come to you and I ask you, um, before I, I ask you what to think about this, I will ask you, uh, do you have your own house? Do you have yes. investment here? If you don't have investment, I will not listen to you about that. Because exactly. You, yes. This, this is the most. Yes. You're most not going to ask someone for real estate tips if he's not into real estate. Just like you're not going to ask someone who's not dropshipping what he thinks about dropshipping or ask someone who tried and failed. Also not a good idea because many yeah. people do try and fail, but you also have the other side of people that try and succeed and they're still doing it today. Like me. <laughs> uh, yeah. And I, I do, I do this all the time in Bulgaria for regret. It's in Bulgaria because most of my community is in Bulgaria. Uh, I find people that already sell in Etsy, in eBay, in Amazon. And I yes. say, okay, okay. Come here in my channel and share your experience. And they come and share. And do you know, uh, I start with this one year ago. And uh, I'm very glad to say that only only for last one week, I have 10 people that call me and say, yeah, I watch e Yuri for uh, Etsy and I, I want to share my experience also here. Then nice. help, help take, mm -hmm. start thinking and start seeing that if you share, you, you feel good. You help to others. Yes, yes, this I know what you mean. Mm -hmm. My point here, thank you. Okay, okay. next question. Uh, also, you answered, but I will ask anyway. Are there a lot of people drop shipping in Bulgaria? I think you said around how much? Twenty thousand. Uh, in in my country, my YouTube yes. channel is watched from around fifty thousand people. Well, uh, on my educations, in my platform, my free book and uh, my free course for e-commerce. It's not only for drop shipping because mm -hmm. I sell in all, all in my Inventory. own stores also. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, it's around 30, 13,000 people. Then I think that it's it's full with dropshippers in Bulgaria. It's full with people that sell uh, not only in, in eBay and Amazon. Uh, I meet with people, with friends yesterday from my city that sell in Facebook groups, in Facebook yes. marketplace also, in Shopify. Yes. yes, It's full with people that sell everything. Okay, nice. By the way, we're also, uh, we started supporting Facebook marketplace, uh, I think one month ago. Today we have anyone who wants to dropship on the Facebook marketplace also with price and stock monitoring. And this is really profitable. I don't know if you tried it, 
but it's it's profit yeah, very I, profitable we, we have write. we have a couple of accounts we have virtual assistants running them and i'm making a live case study on the facebook marketplace i'm recording and i'm showing them everything this is this is the product this is where i'm buying it from this is what i'm selling this is how much i'm profiting i'm not blurring anything i really want people to learn about the facebook marketplace uh, i will it's share you, i will share with you some some of my experience uh, marketplace here facebook local marketplace in bulgaria starts a little bit uh, more than a year from this point. In the beginning, without any advertising, just list something and start selling. It was very, very good. But after that, with the time, you know, the competition start rising. And uh, maybe last seven, eight months, it's not moving very well, actually, with the sales. Uh, and people here, I, I don't know how it's in, in Israel. I know how it's in USA. Uh, in USA, it's totally different. In UK also. In mm -hmm. Bulgaria, uh, we start, uh, we have manufacturing for, um, how to say it, uh, um, when you sell the glasses, uh, um, print the t-shirts. Uh, print on demand. Yeah, we have print on demand here in Bulgaria. I have partners for that. And we start selling the... Um, print on demand for the people that uh, that's driving uh, trucks, uh, big machines. In the beginning, we we asking for a debit card. And no sales, just a lot of money for advertising. Everybody see it, nobody buy. Mm -hmm. And I say, okay, let's try to, to click, uh, to, to just to put one button, not buy it, uh, write us. And they yes. start writing and one button for call us. And they start calling and say, I am in this village, just sent me the two t-shirts here. Then uh, wow. people in Bulgaria still didn't buy online. They buy offline. Okay. The, okay. But uh, this, is, this is something that I say before. Uh, it's very important to feel the market, to test the market and to exactly. see. Now with uh, $5 bu budget, I sell much more than in the beginning with $100 per day. For sure. For sure. O only because I changed the buy it now with the call me. And one person just take the phone and say, okay, where to send it? That's this a very good tip. So every location has its own market. They have their own personality, how they're going to respond to whatever call to action button you have. Some like to click on buy it now, and some will want the call button. Some will want something else. So like you said, test the market is definitely, definitely one of the best tips that we can really give here in this interview. And just to finish off on the Facebook marketplace, uh, because you said you don't know how it is in Israel, you know how it is in uh, uh, Bulgaria. Of course, if you're going to list something on the Facebook marketplace, it's only going to be locally. So you have to find like the best method to try to sell locally. But what I meant was actually dropshipping on the Facebook marketplace and having all of the United States, uh, 50 states, see your listing. So not just one small location, but 50 states to see your listing. And then there's lots of views and there's lots of sales and the competition is really, really low. You don't have to do any competitor research. Just go to Amazon or Walmart, uh, take the best sellers and add them and it's working. But you have to have a US IP address. So if you don't have a US IP address, you're only going to sell locally. Is it work from a proxy or VPN? Did you test it? Yes, yes. That's uh, what, what I can't really get into the details. I, I'm sure you can tell why, because it's like, uh, you know, business practices, but yes, you can do it. But okay. anyway, once you reach uh, $600 in sales, Facebook wants uh, social, social security number verification. So if you don't have one, or if you don't know someone in the US who can give you one, you won't be able to continue after $600 okay. in can, sales. Can I use my LLC in USA? I have a number and eating number also. Yes. Is it possible? Yes. Yes, but uh, if you, if you want, I can talk to you about it after this interview, Actually, and I, I I will help you set it up. I will I will share something. I I have a few partners in USA, American that work there. Then uh, it's not a problem. Just I will say to my partner, create uh, this and give me the yes. access. And so this, you yeah. you won't have any problem, and I think you're going to be surprised with oh. uh, when when fifty states are going to see your listing you're with going the to results. See a huge Yes, yes. I will test it. Yeah, I definitely will test this. I, I, I never sell in um in in Facebook Marketplace in in USA. Yeah. Before now. Okay. I I only use the local market. Yeah. Well, I could tell from your answer, so that's why. Okay, we'll talk about it after. Okay. okay so the drop shipping stores and also the inventory stores, all of the stores that you have, are you managing them by yourself? 
all of them by yourself Hell or no. do you have uh, <laughs> go uh, ahead Hell no it's not uh, it's not possible i have a little team in bulgaria with people that help me with the clients with customer support uh, i have an office in india with uh, actually 17 or 18 people right now i am not sure how much wow. they are because they are also in lockdown and they work from home uh my manager from india i show him all the time in my channel in bulgaria in my english channel uh we recorded a video last week because he also managed the other people stores he helps to other people to start in amazon and help them with the uh, research hand uh, on hand uh, products for amazon fba okay uh and uh Yeah, they they manage all my stores, they manage all my business. They help me a lot with the orders, with the customer support. Because you know, uh, before I find the uh, AutoDS as a tool that can place the orders for me, this was uh, something that I do on hand. I was having first a crew in Bulgaria with uh, six people here locally in my city and a uh, few partners that helped me to write a software to support the software. Because you know, if you have sub, uh, software, it's never the work is never done. Right. You always mm-hmm. have something that it's not working or something yes. that it's changing. Yes. And this is the reason that I stop with the software. It's too much work, and um, I, I find uh, better ways for business. And um, I have around uh, at all uh, around a little bit more than twenty people actually. If wow. I count this in Bulgaria, the programmers, designers, and people that edit the videos for my channels, then are a little bit more than 20. Wow. And that just proves to show that anyone who wants to start scaling your stores or your business at one point, remember that you only have 24 hours in one day, and there's a limit to how much one person can do in those 24 hours. You also need to sleep. You also need to eat. You also need to do other things. Yeah. So at the end of the day, there is a limit to how much you can do. And if you want to pass that limit, it's only by getting workers, only by getting employees. And this is a good thing. So you don't have to be afraid to share your profits in order to help your business grow. And the right time to do it is, of course, once you start profiting, don't on your first day, don't get workers because you're just going to lose money. You can't have someone run your business if you don't know how to run your business yourself. So you're running your business, you're starting to get the profits. Once you have enough profits to get your first employee, do it. And then you'll, your business will start to grow. Okay. Uh, so that answers the question if you manage your stores by yourself and you had, uh, of course, a good Actually, answer we there. Start, uh, we start with my manager in India five years mm-hmm. ago. He was freelancer, one guy. After that, he say, okay, I will put my brother here. After that, uh, we start going well. They say, okay, we can put um, one friend here again and again and again. And now before the the virus, uh, it was an office with uh, 20 places, with 20 computers. But now everybody work from home. They're for regret, they're uh, in lockdown from two months. Uh, oh. And they will be locked down maybe a lot of time. Yeah, but they're still India. working. It's a little bit hard to manage the people from Bulgaria in India in the beginning. But after yes. that, we use uh, some very good tools. I, I want to give some tip. We use uh, Jira. Uh, before I was using uh, Asana um, because I, I was uh, working. Uh, I, I have a lot of experience uh, with the uh, software business. And you know, every, everything needs to be uh, split on tasks. E- yes. Everything needs to be... Um, Uh, run after that to be tested yes. and i i do this in the drop shipping the business model that i found and i i follow actually is a mcdonald's business model then one one guy only research one guy only list one mm-hmm. guy only serve the orders mm-hmm. and it's very easy when somebody say i i don't have time to work or i will not work anymore to find somebody because you need to teach this guy only on one thing He needs right. to do only one thing. And it's very easy to, to change the personal from uh, VA from one to another. If you try to teach one guy to do everything, whole business for you, it's, uh, it's uh, not good because uh, if he say, I, I will not work anymore, this is some process that you need to spend three months again. Yes. And also yes. when I, when I uh, work with my guys, 
always when I work with my guys, if 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 I this is a business meeting and you will be my VA, I will record this session. We will put it uh, unlisted in my YouTube. Yes. And if I I I want to uh, hire some one person to one more person to do same, I just will send him the record and will say, yes. okay, open task in Jira, create the notes, watch the video, give me the task with the notes, and I will decide. Uh, are you are you hired or you are not hired? This is the thing that I do. Okay. This helps a lot to to okay. manage the the business to, to delegate it right. It's great tips. I can't I can't say it enough. It's great tips what you're saying. The things that you are saying are actually things that we are also implementing in our company on AutoDS. So, and this also this company is being run in a very organized way, very organized fashion from the top to the bottom. And many things that you said are very relatable for what's going on here too. So really, again, great tips. Uh, and like you said, it's much better to have each person to have their own uh, profession on your on your store, on your business. In the beginning, of course, when you hire your first virtual assistant, they, they will have to know more than one thing. But once you're starting to grow and you have more workers, each one needs to do their own thing have pre-recorded videos, pre-recorded guides, PDF files, whatever. And that way it's much easier to also switch them when they want to leave the job and you want to hire someone else. Uh, so I'm, I'm saying this to liar, but I will say it here again. And I will say it every next time when I speak with somebody from your team. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm impressed from your 24 seven support. We mm-hmm. test it, we test it because I record video in Bulgaria and say, okay, guys, they say 24 seven. Test them in the morning, at the lunchtime, at the evening. Is there nice. have anybody to reply? And yes, you are nice. 24-7. And the yeah. second one, as I told, I don't want to lie anybody. I don't want to say in my video that you have big crew, you have support, you put the orders, 30,000, uh, 13,000 people to see my video. And uh, after two months to come back and to say, Oviton, oh, you lie me, you say that they have support. They not place my orders and they fucked my business and now yeah. it's your fault. Yeah. I live this, I, I live, I live with the problems of my uh, of my friends here, and I want to be clear. I want to not lie anybody. This is yes. the first rule in the life. If you yes. want to grow, to not lie anybody. Yes. To be yes. honest. And, yes. And it's a very, very good approach. Same thing that we're doing. Also, we're trying to show people that we are not trying to sell them dreams or something that they really cannot do. You, we're t- always trying to teach uh, the, the newcomers to the dropshipping scene that it's not easy. You have to learn, you have to try, you have to test and, and, and you have to keep going. It, it, those that stop after a week are going to go and tell all of their friends that dropshipping is dead and it's not working and they tried it and blah, 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 blah. But uh, like I said, uh, and all of your tips here, really you're, you're, you are spot on. And just so you guys know, uh, for all of our listeners, we didn't, go over the answers or anything or what we're going to do before the interview. Of course, we did a review on the questions, but not any more than that. So I completely uh, agree with your approach of complete honesty. You don't want other, uh, in one or two months from now, people chasing you, telling you, hey, in the video, you said this, and it's actually that, and you're a liar and all of that. Nobody wants that on their record. So yeah, we're definitely working out of pure honesty, and I'm glad to hear that from you. And when I was a customer in AutoDS, like I also mentioned in the beginning of this interview, when I was only a customer and I didn't even think about maybe, you know, working here or I I had a full-time job and I was also dropshipping on the side. One of the things that I really noticed here is the customer service. And for me, not just in dropshipping, but everywhere I go and I'm buying something from somewhere, I'm looking for customer service. It's something that's very important for me. Uh, So it's one one of the things. Yes, sure. Uh, something. Uh, is it possible to, uh, if, if your community have some questions to me, just to put them in the comments below in the video, just I, I will come here after a week and after two weeks, I will not forget. I will, I will put this in my schedule and will answer them because I think that it's very important when you give values to someone, when you say, I want to help just to to have to spend some time to help him, really to help. Then if you have some questions, how to start with something that you hear in the video, and if you have some personal questions to me, just don't hesitate to contact me below the video in the comments. Uh, I, 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 I will be here for you to help. Great, great. So there you have it, guys. Anyone who's uh, here on YouTube, ask your questions below. 
and uh, uh, a Fed one will just come and answer in a week or two, maybe less. But either way, you, you know, you'll get a notification when he answers. Go ahead and ask your questions, guys. For those of you listening on the podcast, just go to our YouTube channel, find the interview and ask whatever questions you want and just get the answer from a true, honest person, the one here that I have in front of me. Uh, so thank you for that. I also appreciate it. We also very uh, much believe in giving this uh, uh, value to, to, to our viewers too. We are also personally answering our viewers' questions. If you saw our videos, almost everyone who's replying to our videos is getting a reply from us. If they have questions, if they have problems, things like that. So uh, I also believe, of course, in this approach of being active and also uh, answering your community and not just one-sided where you are giving information, but it can't go also the other way. Yeah, I'm waiting for the feedback and for the questions. Great. So go ahead, guys. Start writing them below. Okay, let's see what uh, other uh, else questions we have left for this interview. When you were drop shipping, uh, or not just drop shipping, but all of the e-commerce businesses that you have handled in the last seven years, do you remember any specific troubles, any specific struggles that you had? Something that was really hard for you to 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 do, to to work, to pass. Um, I make sure remember uh, things that if I share everything that I remember, maybe it will take us uh, ten hours mm. or one more. main one main thing. <laughs> oh, what one it. Okay, you want the main thing that, um, mm, like uh, problems. Yeah, some problem, some problem that you had sometime along the way on your last seven years of your e-commerce journey. Just give me any problem that comes into your mind, and okay. what you did to for the solution. How you? I will give you. I will it. give you not one. I will give you the two. Two. Sure. Two main. Sure. Uh, the first one with the with the gift cards, as you know, a lot of people use Paxful or some other sites to buy the gift cards. And uh, one morning I wake up this uh, this year at the beginning of the year, March month, and all my Amazon account accounts was closed. This was a little bit before I I give uh, trust to your software. A little bit before that, maybe two weeks. And sorry, sorry. This this year it happened. Yeah, in the beginning of this year. Hmm. Okay. I I was still buying the um, with uh, some discounted cards, uh, not from Paxful, from other sources, but they was working very good. And uh, I just woke up uh, with uh, a lot of orders, and uh, all my Amazon accounts was stop at at the same time with the money and, inside, all yeah, of the money that you had inside the gift card money. No option to buy the items. Uh, yes. Some of them limited. You can buy only one or two from one Amazon account. Then um, it, it was very big nightmare. But uh, thanks to my community, I just write in my group. I say I have uh, 300 orders for the last two days. Please, somebody to help me. A lot of people say, okay, send me money here. Send me money there. I will buy them for you. And they they helps me to to just to keep going i was stop my my stores for a while just uh, uh double the prices in for my items and we start and find a solution and the second was uh, one was uh, actually this problem finished one week ago um i was uh, stopped from uk from ebay um to review my managed payment to all my stores at the same time and they oh. say, ah, everything is fine. We will not send you any money. Just we will um, confirm that you are really you and no problem. We will unlock your money after that. Okay, but you wait one week after that, one more week, one more week. Everything is locked. You keep selling. You don't receive your money. You keep buying. And one day they can say, oh, no, uh, you are not legitable. And uh, we will close your account with the money, with uh, 20,000 or with 10,000 uh, pounds inside. They can do this. And I was very worried about that. And one week uh, ago, they sent me the message. I, I stopped for a short period to, I was uh, scared a, a little bit. And I stopped for a short period to sell. I have LLC in UK also. And they unlock my money and sent my money to, to my bank. Then... Uh, the thing that I want to share here is uh, the main thing with the, these two problems is that uh, every problem have a solution. When you have a business, 
you are solution guy. You are the person that finds the solutions. Then uh, all my team work like that. Somebody start edit the video, start list items, start uh, speaking with the wholesale. He has a problem. If he don't have ability to fix this, he call to the manager. If manager don't know, they call to me. Uh, if you want to have a business, you need to be ready to have a problem and to solve it. This is the, the difference between the people that have success in the dropshipping and those one that say always, uh, this don't work. And also listen. I give up. I give up. They just give up. Like yeah, it, I have this problem, not sure how to solve it. This is not going to work. Bye bye. And uh, and uh, when you start, when you hear from somebody this don't work, just hear him, not for one minute, for ten minutes, and you will see that he will say that for uh, any other thing in the in the life. He will say uh, the gym don't work, the yes. other work don't work, this uh, cryptocurrency not work. He will say this to any idea that you have. Yes. Then uh, uh, this is the difference between success guys and the haters that always I, say this don't work. I, I cannot agree with you more. And I had the same problem with you with the gift cards. Not this year, though. I, I, I wish you would have seen our YouTube channel before that because, uh, you know, it happened to me, I think, two years ago. And this is one of the biggest problems that I had, too. This is one of the times where I thought that two years this ago. is the end. Yeah, two years ago, if I'm not mistaken, a year and a half at least. I remember this was a huge, huge problem. We were buying discounted gift cards. I was buying them for $75 and I was getting a $100 gift card and I was yeah. using them and I was profiting really, really well. And I thought that this is the best way to profit. And, and you'd like, like you said, just woke up one morning, the Amazon accounts are not working. All of my money is locked inside. I can't tell what's going on with the orders that I had on those accounts. And then I, and then, you know, I, I, I had a choice to make. Either I'm going to give this up or I'm going to try to fight it and find a solution because it, so it was working so well and it would be such a waste to throw it away because of a problem. Even yeah. if I cannot fulfill my orders for a few days until I found solutions. And then we started to find solutions. First, I found a solution. I found someone who was creating Amazon accounts that work. So you can yeah. just get the account, log in, uh, put in your balance and start issuing the orders. And then I started dropshipping his services for other dropshippers who are having who need accounts. So I started profiting from this also. So I was dropshipping his service to other people that needed it. A lot of people needed it. I made great profits for two months. And after that, the, his accounts started to stop working too. Now I figured that I need to find another solution. And then I found automatic orders. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not just talking automatic orders where it's using your buyer accounts, but automatic orders where, it's, where the system is, is using their buyer accounts. So it's not the, because the first automatic orders that we had, we were using your buyer accounts, your payment methods, and we would just do the order for you, process it for you. But today, like you know, you don't need to have any accounts. Everything is being done for you. So it's much easier. So uh, everything yeah. is safety. Then you just need to focus on the sales and you know that you have somebody to do the orders, the rest. Yeah. Yes, the orders, the returns. So uh, this is the main reason that I prefer uh, FBA. The main reason. Then uh, I I need to focus only to find the product that is sell very good. Yes, and uh, the rest is uh, done from the Amazon. This yes. is the the main reason that I I like uh, FBA. I also have some items on FBM, and uh, in the past I was doing to I was working to create my own brands white labels but it's a lot of resource and you can buy um, some cream, uh, health and beauty. This, this, is, this is still my main category. Uh, you find some cream, you buy the cream for 10,000 euro. This is the minimum quantity from the manufacturer. Wow. They put this in Amazon. You have uh, two years or one and a half year. Um, after that, this product is not useful because it, it will expire. And if you don't sell it, just you will lose uh, 10 or 15,000 euro. Uh, this is the reason that I start suggest to the people, find something that already work. Uh, do it. Yeah, the profit is not so big. The profit is only 20%, 30%. The profit is not 70% like uh, your own brand. Yeah, but uh, if you don't sell it, you buy only for small and light 25 items. Then... Yes. Also for the dropshipping, you find the product, list the product. 
it's not sell. Okay, stop it, not problem. Just find another one. Yep. You don't lose money for that. This is only one business in the world that first you receive the money, after that you pay for the product. Yes, yes. A- every, that's, why, every... that's why it's interesting for a lot of people that want to learn how to do it. Yeah, it's and, and uh, I work with a lot of businesses here in, in my country and a lot of businesses work a lot and didn't get the money from the client at all at the end. Then uh, this is very good business model. Yeah. This is something that will never die. Yeah. Very often people say, yeah, dropshipping will die next year. Dropship will, dropshipping will never die. It If exists think... before me and you even know about it. It exists of course. Way before me and you know about it. Yeah, it's and always I... going to be there. Uh, eBay didn't have any stock. They didn't have any service like Amazon. If they stop the dropshipping, this means they need to stop the whole site, the whole eBay, because they it, didn't it, have any other option. It's all about money and it's making them so much money that I don't, they can't just flip a switch and, and forget about this uh, amount of profit that they're making every month. It's not only the profits. I mean, I'm sure that they love the profits, but they also have a bigger pro- uh, uh, catalog more products on their platform. So it's helping them a lot, this, uh, you know, uh, uh, drop shipping. And even in their policies, they say they don't mind that you drop ship. You can drop ship all you want. And then they say another line, don't, you know, do it from retailers. But me and you both know that you can do it as long as you know what you are doing. You're taking care of your customers. You care about your business. You're taking care of customer service. You're shipping out your products on time. There shouldn't be any problems. And even if you do have problems, like we learned in this interview, there is nothing that you cannot overcome. You can overcome any problem. There's a solution to every problem. It's, it's, it's really no problem as long as you are here to learn and to work and to know how to find solutions for your problems and not say, okay, if, that's what, if, if this is what I'm going to get, then never mind. I give up. I don't want it. Like you said, it's a personality. So everyone has their own personalities. And I hope that the people who are listening to this interview have the, 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 the stronger personality of not giving up so quick and really trying to find solutions to problems. So we talked about what some of the problems that you had and how you solve them. I want to wrap this interview up. I think it was uh, longer than we expected, but I really do enjoy uh, this interview with you. I enjoy uh, talking with you. A last question for our viewers, and this one is for beginners, people who are just beginning want to begin, are interested, what, what's the best, what's one of the best tips that you can think of for someone who is just starting right now? The main mistake that I see in the whole business um, entrepreneurs that want to start yes. is, uh, I, I see it everywhere, not only in the business. They want to start running before he have ability to walk. Yes. Uh, and my tip here is don't want to grow too fast. Don't want to go to buy FBI items. Don't want to create a, don't, don't do a creation of your own uh, brand. Yes. Um, trademark before you start from the lower position. Start with the drop shipping. Start from the simple things from Amazon, from Walmart. Uh, fill the market. Start seeing the things learn a lot and after that do this slowly because if you want to do something fast it's like a, I, I told this uh, like a steroids in the fitness you do it fast but you lose it fast after after that yes then my main tip is to find the simple business model model like a drop shipping to find the stable suppliers and to start slowly after that to try to run to do the FBA, to do research, to create all items, to manufacture the items, to do marketing, to spend a lot of money for marketing. Because I have clients that before they come, they spend $10,000 for a courses, for a mentorship, $10,000 for, to buy items in FBA, a lot of money for own websites uh, in Shopify. Some other people build them with the plugins, a mm-hmm. lot of money um, in the marketing in USA, but they didn't know how it's working. If you don't know how something work, you will lose money. And it's not okay to spend ready money. You can start without money with a two, three, four hundred yes. dollar budget. Yes. Do this slowly, slowly. Because uh, as I thought in the beginning in this interview, 
uh, I want to do this to the rest of my life, but I don't want to rush myself to work 14 hours a day. I want to work every day as much as I can to work without feel tired, without feel bored, and to have progress year after year, not to do everything at the same time and to burn out and to stop with the business. This is the the most important rule in the in the life to be consistent not to try to rush yourself great so wonderful tips once again so in the beginning the faster you run the faster you'll fall so start slowly and work your way up and i i really couldn't couldn't uh, recommend anything better than that that's uh, it's just a great tip i really hope that you guys will really implement the things that uh, uh, that vetan is saying here in this interview because uh, i can i mean it's all being spoken out of true honesty and i can really see it and feel it also in this interview and the tips are really things that i'm also taking you know f- uh, for myself many of the things that you said in this interview is things that i'm already or mm-hmm. we're already implementing also as an organization and also me personally in my small business that i'm also running on the side while i'm drop shipping and uh, you guys can also learn to be successful in any niche so just because you are good in uh, health you said in in health products that is your niche my personal niche i'm making great profits from in the last at least uh two three years only one niche my for me is the the outdoor niche even in the winter i'm i'm doing a great job in this niche when people are not going great outdoors so there is many categories that you guys can be successful at and uh vatan i really enjoyed this interview with you uh, i must say and Like he said, guys, if you guys have any questions, it doesn't matter what part of your journey you're on, if you're in the beginning, if you're in the middle, if you're doing it for a long time, if you're not doing it at all, any questions that you guys have, write it right down below and he will personally answer them. I'm sure that you guys will appreciate the answers. Uh, thank you once again. I really enjoyed this interview. Uh, thank you very much that you that you asked me to be your guest. Uh, I'm very excited. I, I hope to ask me again in future. to share my experience again thank you yeah looking for future cooperation thank you bye bye